Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. Are you new at fishing for catfish and are still kind of figuring some stuff out? Well, there's three knots that you need to know, so stay tuned. I'm gonna tell you about it. Well folks, no matter what species of fish you fish for, knots are one of the fundamental things that you need to know and have a pretty good understanding of. Now, if you go doing some searching on the internet, you'll find hundreds of different fishing knots, uh, and it can be quite confusing and quite intimidating, especially when you're starting out fishing. What I'm going to do in this video is go over three basic knots. Now, the funny part is one of them is really the same as another one, but I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but these knots will take care of everything that you need to do from tying on a hook to tying on a swivel to tying on a lure, tying on a sinker. And uh, they're all fairly easy to learn. And I'm also going to show you how to tie them. Now, the first one is the first knot that I ever learned from my dad. It's one of the few things I remember from starting out fishing from way, way, way back when. And that's how to tie a fisherman's knot. It's a very basic knot. Some people call this a clinch knot or an improved clinch knot. Uh, I call it a fisherman's knot just because, well, that's what we've always called it. This is a great knot for tying on a swivel, tying on a hook, uh, tying on a lure. This one is a little simpler to tie, takes a little less line, and is super duper simple. Now to tie this knot, all you do is run your line through whatever the eye is on that you're tying onto, whether that be the loop on a swivel, the eye of a hook, or one of the split rings on a lure. And after you run that line through there and the line is laying side by side, you're basically gonna twist it around itself. How many times do you do this? Five, six, seven times. But then what you're gonna do, once it's wrapped around, is go back through the little opening right next to the eye. You're gonna come through there, and then you're gonna take that piece and go back through the loop that was created when you brought that piece of line down. From there, you're just gonna hold on to that open end that you had to begin with, but you're gonna pull it tight. Boom, there you go. You have just tied the fisherman's knot, the clinch knot, the improved clinch knot, and it's a good basic knot that honestly will get you through everything you need to do, but I'm gonna give you a couple of more knots that will be a little more specialized for some other applications. Now, if you're like me and a lot of folks that fish for catfish, we use circle hooks. There's a couple of reasons why we do this. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is a lot of us, uh, after we get our baits in the water, put the rods in the rod holders, the rods are sitting there. We are not standing there with the rods in our hands. What happens when a fish takes off with one of these circle hooks is uh, by the design of the hook, it's designed not to be inside of its mouth somewhere. It will pull to the outside of the mouth, catch the corner of the mouth, and basically set the hook by itself uh, without the angler having to be there to pick up the rod, jerk on the rod and set the hook. Uh, the tension of the rod in whatever rod holder you have it in uh, does the hook setting for you. So it is somewhat convenient. Uh, it also eliminates, since a lot of us guys that pursue catfish, especially trophy catfish, release the majority of the fish we catch. It's a very safe hook for the fish because getting throat hooked are getting hooked in the back of the mouth uh, does not happen as often with a circle hook. Now for me, I like to use a circle hook with a bent eye. And you'll see why once we tie this thing that uh, if you tie it right, uh, the shank of the hook, which is the straight part of the hook, is in line with the leader material. I just feel this helps to pull the hook uh, to the corner of the mouth without snagging on anything inside the fish. So what I do is I take the leader material and I run it through the eye and go down the shank of the hook. Once I do that, I make a loop with that piece of leader material. And what you're gonna do is wrap it around the shank of the hook and the leader material that is going down the shank of the hook. Do this five, six, seven times. Then you're gonna pull it tight. You're gonna pull it down, cinch it tight, cut off your tag end, you're ready to fish. Now, there's a lot of snail knots out there. The reason I use this particular snail knot is because if I have to swap out a hook, or if I want a bigger hook, it gets caught in the fish's throat, I can cut it off right there and I can tie that same hook or a different hook back on uh, using this knot. 
Some of the other snelling methods, you have to have the end that attaches to your leader or to your uh, swivel free. This one allows an open end all the time. And in my opinion, it's the best way to snell a hook. Now I was telling you earlier that one of these is basically the same as another one. Well, that's the knot that I just tied. The method that I use to snell that hook is a, another knot that is universal for pretty much anything you tie, thus its name, the uni knot. The uni knot is basically built around making a loop adjacent to another piece of either fishing line or a hook. And then just like with the snail knot, you're gonna make wraps around that. So you ask yourself, where do I use this? Well, I can use it to tie fishing hooks on. I can also use it to tie fishing line together. That's one of the uh, biggest uses that I use it for. You use a double uni knot. Uh, you basically tie two of these on each end of the two lines that you are tying together. You pull both of them tight. Then you pull both ends of the line, pulling both of the knots together and you're able to tie line together. It's a great way uh, to tie leaders together, a leader onto a piece of line where you don't need to swivel like I do for some of the uh, perch rigs, double hook perch rigs that I build. It's also another great way to tie two pieces of fishing line together going onto your reel. So all you do to tie the uni knot is you make a loop, just like we did with the snail. And then you wrap it around whatever piece of material you put it up to, whether that be the shank of a hook or another piece of fishing line. You make several wraps around it, and then you pull it tight. There you go, guys. Uh, three types of knots, really two, that will tie anything together that you need tied together when you're fishing for catfish. Hopefully this gives you some good information. We'll catch you guys out on the water. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're gonna like. I'd watch that one and then that one. No, no do, do that one first and then that one. Uh, I don't know, just watch them both, they're both good.